Hi there, this is Cher Pindarvis, artist and author of the Painter Wow books and the Artist Tablet books. In this video, Property Bar and Shortcuts, we will show the property bar controls for a brush and the dropper tool. We'll also touch on helpful shortcuts that we usually use. On screen we have Pear Dance 2, which I painted with the chalk and pastels brushes and a grainy water blender. The brush selector is over here at the upper left of my screen and as you can see here the chalk, pastel, and crayons category is chosen and the sharp chalk variant is chosen. In the property bar here, we have the reset tool button, which will reset the tool back to its default. We also have the freehand strokes choice, which we will usually use when we're painting. If we want to draw or paint using straight line strokes, then we would choose this one. This choice is for a line to path. If we have a path and we want to paint a brush stroke along the path, we would choose this one. Here we have perspective guided strokes. Here is an icon that we commonly use. This is the size. And as you see, if you click the size icon, the size panel opens and you have access to its contents. The size slider is right here. You move to the left to decrease the size and to the right to increase the size. Next, we have the opacity button here. And if we click here, it will open the opacity control. And just to the right of it, we have the opacity slider. Right now, it's set to 100%. If we want to paint with less than 100%, we move to the left. And to increase it again, we move to the right. Now, the sharp chalk is a very grain sensitive brush, so the paper grains are available in the property bar when this brush is chosen. Right now, it's set at 23% you set the penetration of a brush stroke into the grain here using this slider. This particular chalk uses 100% resaturation. Resaturation is the flow of the media through the brush, and this particular brush does not have any bleed applied to it. Bleed allows you to smear with existing color. So this brush is pretty simple that way in that you'll be applying a stroke let me just grab my stylus. I'm going to choose a contrasting color and paint a stroke on this purple. You see what an expressive brush it is. And Command Z to undo. Over here in the property bar, we have the dab options. And as you can see, the medium profile is chosen. And here we have the blending panel that's accessed from the property bar. The resaturation is 100% and bleed is zero click to close it. And here we have access to the advanced brush controls. If we want to make modifications to our brush, it's bringing up the panel sections that are included in the building of this brush. And then here we can show and hide the general panel with the settings for this particular brush. And as you see, it uses a circular dab type. Method is cover and subcategory is grainy hardcover. So a lot of controls are easily accessed through the property bar for every brush in Painter. Let's have a look at the settings in the property bar for the dropper tool. Here we have the sample size and we can choose point sample or a variety of other samples from 3 by 3 average all the way to 101 by 101 average. And just to the right, the sample, if we have multiple layers in our document, we can sample via all visible layers or just a selected layer or layers. Using shortcuts can help your efficiency and flow while painting. Here are a few of my favorites. To hide the UI, press the Tab key. And press the Tab key again to bring it back. To hide only the palettes, press Shift-Tab. And press Shift-Tab again to bring them back. I'm going to switch to the Dropper tool right now. And to go back to the brush tool, I type B. To dynamically resize your brush on the fly, for Mac, press Command, Option, and you see the crosshair there, drag, 
out to increase your brush size and drag in to decrease your brush size. The Windows equivalent is Control Alt. When you have the brush tool chosen, you can press Option on the Mac or Alt on the PC to temporarily switch to the dropper tool while you're painting. And I use this shortcut often when I'm painting. Some other helpful shortcuts are Undo, Command Z for Mac or Control Z Window. I'm going to press Command Plus Mac, that would be Control Plus Windows, to enlarge my image one field. If I want to scroll around my image, I can press the space bar to scroll around my image. If I want to center the image, press the space bar and double click. To incrementally reduce the zoom of my image, I can press Command minus on the Mac. That would be Control minus on Windows. In future videos, we'll cover more of the property bar settings and more shortcuts. Enjoy Painter and happy painting!